So you want to adjust just part of the image. I'm going to show you how to do it. Hi guys, Darren here from Emoto Training and I'm going to show you today something called local adjustments. Now this is if you want to adjust just part of the image and not all of it. Let me show you what I mean by that. We jump into the develop module and we can from this module here in the overall settings we can adjust the whole picture so anything we do on the right hand box affects everywhere in that picture what if we just want to let's say um, brighten up this left hand side of the image how do we do that it's local adjustments now as soon as you press on the local adjustments it will bring up your brush because you're going to paint in like a uh, like a mask almost in the top hand left hand corner we have paint in which you can change to paint out the other way to do it is if you hold the alt key it will change whatever you're in so, so let's say you're painting it will change it to paint out but you have to hold the button if you're on paint out pressing alt will bring you to paint to paint in next is the size of the brush again this is on a slider or you can use the bracket keys and that will up and down the size of the brush the feather self-explanatory it literally is feathers how far away from the edge of the brush um, the feather goes opacity again it's pretty self-explanatory it's just how much um, almost like how much of the mask he actually applies now the next two is the perfect brush and the settings for that I'll show you what they do in a second on the right hand side we have the adjustment box now in here the check at the top left literally is uh, just on and off so you can take the effects off just to see what it was in the original so we leave that on uh, opacity again we have a load of presets pressing the lighting automatically just bumps up the exposure a little bit darken bumps it down a little bit and we have vibrance detail and a load more in here including HDR, um, uh, recover highlights, reveal shadows, quite a few presets or you can just adjust them yourself from the panel. Now on the left hand side what we said we were going to try and have a look and see if we get more detail out of this area. So we maybe want to bump the exposure a little bit and reveal some of the shadows and we paint the effect in and it's as simple as that let's say you're trying to be a little bit more subtle uh, and you just wanted to reveal just a little bit of detail you can just paint it in like that but you can't really see what's going on a little tip if you bump up the exposure temporarily you can actually see where you've been painting now you can see you've painted over the water the sky it, it, it's everywhere and then once you've got your your mask set out you can simply double click on the exposure and you will go back to the previous setting where the shadows have been um, the shadow recovery has been increased so what if we want to be a little bit more precise then we will use let's just reset that there we go we will use the perfect brush now top right here this icon is perfect brush just toggles it on and off next door to it is its panel for its settings so again you can turn perfect brush on here and you'll see the icon lights up blue uh, we also have some adjustments so color threshold and transition this these adjustments just purely is to refine its selection so here we go we want it just for the actual uh, hill and these trees here and not the other water now what you're going to find is it's not perfect but it does quite a good job as you'll see it's not going over and you can refine this later on but just as a, a quick selection it's doing a reasonable job of picking out the the, the, the actual uh, trees and 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 the bank side now as you see because the color was so close between the bank and the water it's also picked up the water lots of different ways you can counter this um you can change some of the settings but to be honest when it's that close it's not really going to help a 
probably the easiest way is just to select the normal brush, not the perfect brush, and just paint out the effect. Now, once you're happy with your selection, if you bring the exposure back to normal, you then have control over just the area you've selected. And you can change anything. I see the extremes, but it's showing you that you can adjust just that area and no other parts of the photograph. So let's do this in a bit of a, a real world application. We want to give that sky just a little bit more color. How would we do that? Simply paint in as we did before. I've got the exposure up and we paint in the effect. But as we go over the edge, it's not picking the mountains out, it's picking the sky out. And there we go. We know that area is now selected. So once we bring the exposure back down, we can then change any of the settings on here. There we go. So we've made it a little bit more blue, let's say. Uh, recover some of the highlights. And saturate the colour a little bit. And there we go. All we've done is adjust the top part of the image. So let's say we want to change the jetty, but we want to keep that sky just the same. Dead simple. Hit the add layer and you actually bring another layer up. This layer top on the top is now your new layer. You can see the second one, you can actually see in here, in this little box, that's the, the mask. So you know that this one is your new one because it's all black. Okay, so let's just quickly paint in. Let's just bump up the exposure a little bit so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Let's just change the jetty a little bit. Let's just paint away and we get a quick selection. Obviously, you'd be a, a little bit more precise, but this is just a demonstration. So yeah, here we go, all the way up, and you can see we've selected the jetty. Now, from here again, you've got all the same controls. Darken it, brighten it. Let's just say we want it a little bit lighter. There we go, but we want to put a load of detail just in that area. There we go. So let's pump the detail up and maybe just introduce a little bit more color. And there we go. So all we've affected now is just the jetty area. So we've set the top and we've set the bottom. You can go on forever. You can add more um, layers. Bang, there's another one. And you can go and do something else. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe.